Hello everyone, and welcome to my Sister Wise official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Cody Brown, a star of Sister Wise, is unable of progressing beyond the life he previously enjoyed with his spouses Mary Brown, Janelle Brown, Christine Brown, and Robin Brown. Cody and his polygamous family together had 18 children and strove diligently to dispel myths regarding multiple marriage while evading legal persecution. The Browns felt they had found serenity at last after moving from Las Vegas to Flagstaff, Arizona. Regrettably, the relocation signified the commencement of the family's decline. Three of Cody's four marriages disintegrated within two years. Christine declared her intention to divorce Cody in November 2021. Merely one year later, Janelle disclosed that she and Cody had separated. Mary declared the dissolution of her marriage in early 2023 following years of estrangement. Cody, currently in a monogamous marriage with Robin, experiences significant pressure and uncertainty. He remains nostalgic for his former life, and his failure to adjust has become a principal factor in his unsuccessful marriages. The Brown family had ideal housing in Las Vegas. Cody longs for the days when his family was more cohesive. Cody acknowledged that his family thrived while their residence in Las Vegas, while contemplating his divorces. When Sister Wife premiered, Cody and his wife shared a home in Lehi, Utah. After the family went public with their multiple lifestyle, they faced the danger of punishment due to Utah's laws banning polygamy. Cody chose to depart the state with his wives and children, rather than risk his family being ripped apart. They chose to migrate to Las Vegas. In Las Vegas, the Browns built the perfect environment for a multiple family. They purchased four neighboring sites at the end of a cul-de-sac and had unique homes built for each wife's family. This enabled Mary, Janelle, Christine, and Robin to have their own space but the houses were in such close proximity that their children could simply walk back and forth. Meanwhile, Cody was able to rotate seamlessly between his wife's residences. Cody is now conscious that leaving behind their flawless arrangement impacted the path of his family's future. The design enabled the family to readily meet while also allowing the women to keep their solitude. When Cody claimed Las Vegas was the happiest moment of his life, he was hinting to the consequences of his impetuous choice to uproot his family. Just as his wives were getting comfortable and settling into their lives in Las Vegas, Cody convinced them to migrate once again. Cody is now conscious that leaving behind their flawless arrangement impacted the path of his family's future. Cody was a better parent when his kids were younger, he thrived on their dependence. Cody took pride in his dedication to being a father. Despite having more than a dozen children, he was still pleased at every birth. Cody's wives talked positively about him being a devoted parent when his children were smaller. However, that quality deteriorated over time. Cody currently has difficult connections with most of his adult children. Although he is close to Robin's children, he has virtually little contact with the children he has with Christine and Janelle. They indicated Cody doesn't know how to parent bigger children, and he felt lost as his children developed. He refuses to put effort into maintaining connections, and he can't live with beliefs and opinions that differ from his own. When Cody reminisces on his life in Las Vegas, he recalls a period when he was constantly surrounded by his children. As they grew older and became less dependent on him, Cody failed to modify his parenting. He neglected birthdays and missed holidays. Cody's isolation from his children is something he never could have anticipated back in their Las Vegas days. Cody's family fell apart after they moved to Flagstaff. Cody regrets pushing his family to move. The Browns' decision to leave Las Vegas was very devastating to their family's future. Despite having built dream homes that allowed them to live as a community, Cody urged his wives to leave it all behind. At one time, Las Vegas was considered the family's permanent home base after years of continual movement, but Cody became restless, and in Sister Wives season 13, the family moved to Flagstaff. Unfortunately, the housing market in Flagstaff was harsh. 
Cody's wives were forced to reside in homes spread across the village, destroying their traditional family customs. Christine and Robin, facing a constrained rental market, ended up buying properties for their family. What was supposed to be a temporary arrangement became the family's new normal. With so much distance between them, the spouses got comfortable living alone, and they lost the communal lifestyle they previously had. Cody couldn't adapt to his family's needs during Soviet ID. His stubborn personality pushed his wives and kids away. Soon after their move to Flagstaff, the pandemic struck. Mary, Janelle, Christine, and Robin isolated with their children, effectively stopping huge family reunions. Cody primarily resided with Robin, thus beginning their monogamous existence together. Just with their home crisis, what was thought to be a temporary nuisance carried on, and social separation became part of the family's routine. On top of physical separation, a big disagreement sprang out between the family regarding the necessity of social distancing. Cody and Robin set rigorous requirements for the family to fulfill in hopes of one day gathering in person. Unfortunately, Cody's young adult children couldn't give up their social, academic, and professional life as demanded by Cody's requirements. Cody's children took offense at his refusal to change his rules for the benefit of their relationship, and the family began to splinter. He refused to adjust his standards to enable family bonding. Cody's stubborn personality became more visible during the pandemic. He refused to adjust his standards to enable family bonding. Furthermore, Cody despised his children and wife who were more lax with their social distancing norms. He blamed them for keeping the family apart. Yet ultimately, it was Cody who made it impossible for anybody but Robin to match his demands. In retrospect, Cody can undoubtedly understand how Sylvia ID and the Flagstaff living circumstances represented the turning point for his family. And he is now nostalgic for the life he had in Las Vegas. Cody is stuck in the past. While his wives have moved on, Cody's resentment makes him bitter. Cody spends most of his time thinking about the mistakes his wives and children made that brought them to their current circumstance. He refuses to face his failures, and his concentration on the past also makes him unwilling to go forward. Because Cody keeps harping on the imagined mistakes other people did, he can't find the forgiveness necessary to establish cordial relationships with them in the present. Meanwhile, Cody's wives have moved on. Janelle's attitude is notably different from Cody's. She refers to her life with him as in the past, and she is focused on moving on. Meanwhile, Mary admits she doesn't even recall her life with Cody. Their relationship has been awful for so long that she can't recall what it was like to be in a functioning marriage with him. While Cody is stuck in the past, his ex-wives have let go of their hurt and animosity and are looking to the future. Sister Wise Season 19 will capture the journey forward for Cody and his family. With 18 children between them, Cody and his ex-wives will continually cross paths. If Cody wants to find peace with his exes, he needs to let go of his fixation with the past and adopt an open mind for the future. Thanks for watching if you liked this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.